right. The internet can totally see you now. I have my webcam turned off because this laptop sucks. <laughs> and my Elgato literally said, uh, your computer is too slow to have both that and a webcam running. Uh, but I think the microphone's working. If not, I'll just be talking to myself, which isn't too uncommon either. sure which button I'm clicking on or you are live. How do I know? Is there a link? I can see that I'm live? Probably. Again, I think it's working, I don't know. Wish I had a way of like checking to see if it's live or not. Well, it says live, but how do I know? SRG, stand for Seattle Retro Gaming, or the Seattle Retro Gamers uh, Facebook group. Make sure you find that on Facebook and like them, or be part of the group, because I am. Even though I don't live in Seattle, technically, but neither does half the people in that group. Some of them do, though. Or they live near Seattle. Near Seattle, it counts, too.
Oh, here it is. I can share that. That'll see if it's live. I'm still testing things out here, so this is kind of the test run, but I found where I can find the link. I'll share the link right here. You say, hey, I'm live. And I'll share it over here too. I should do it, huh? I was still learning how to edit Nintendo games when I uh, made this. So now it's like I can change the words to whatever I wanted. I could have changed the colors. I could have changed her to look like uh, Amy or even uh, Joey, who's uh, Joe's daughter. And maybe next time. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll work. That's the one to get for sure.
pretty sure something fell out of there. Unless there would be a hole in the ceiling. Uh, oh, I actually have messages. Crazy. Three people watching. Uh, yes. Yes, Romancer. This is a hack I did. It's a Mitsumi Gatoru, obviously. Um, really the only thing I changed was a couple of the graphics, including the dot, uh, or the third eye in uh, his head, to look my buddy, like uh, my buddy Joe Witter. And Bucky O'Hare, it's going very well. In fact, I was literally just playing Bucky O'Hare on the Nintendo a little bit ago. I wasn't streaming it or anything. I was, um, I'm working on a, a Metal Jesus video, uh, coming up here pretty soon. And, uh, thinking of ideas for, like, hidden gems. I don't know if Bucky O'Hare is actually hidden, but, um, I may have to use that anyway, just because it's an awesome game. <laughs> it gives me a reason to show it off. And I don't know if my, uh, text is working or not. I better type it in, too, just in case, huh? I have no idea if the microphone's working. Sound is perfect, cool. I'm, I'm quite literally using just the sound from the, ah, what's it called? The webcam that's built into the laptop, and this laptop's such a piece of crap that uh, it wouldn't even let me overlay the video, So you could, not that you want to see my face anyway, but I tried doing that, and uh, it literally said, oh, your, your, website, your uh, laptop is too slow, you cannot do it. So I was like, all right, I'll, uh, I need to get a new laptop anyway. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, Bucky O'Hare is totally worth uh, showing off. That game is awesome. And my my copy has a. I bought a, my copy of Bucky O'Hare for five bucks. It was four ninety nine at uh, GameStop or Software Etc. at the time, in the like the late nineties. And they put the sticker right on the label, so I never bothered taking off the labels or the sticker because I didn't want to ruin the label. Uh, however, it's kind of cool to see that it's just. Um, you know, the, the label's still there. Or the thing all the hey I bought I bought the game for five bucks. I don't remember I mean, how to kill this guy. You have to let that thing hit him first and then you can attack him. Like the little band-aid looking things. It's been a while since I should actually play these games more often. <laughs> I'm gonna make them for friends, but oh there we go, okay. Oh, come on now. I'm not going to last too long here. Uh, oh, there we go. So we have to be close enough so those things hit him. Then I can hit him a couple of times. Ugh, I can't even duck on this game. Got kind of chump change Nintendo game is this. Ah. 
showing my hand here, proving I really do suck at Nintendo games. <laughs> I won't be streaming too long either, um, so you, can, you, won't, you won't hurt my feelings if you leave early or anything. I'm doing this just as practice uh, while I do laundry. So soon, as soon as my alarm goes off for the laundry, then I'll probably turn it straight off and then get doing that. Because I have packs this weekend, and I'm going to have some fun there. I have to wear clean shirts. I had to find a, find a couple of my uh, video game related shirts so I can wear it to packs this weekend. We're looking forward to that. I'll be there. I know PAX starts tomorrow, but I still have to work tomorrow and get the kids out of school and all that, so I'll miss tomorrow, but I'll be there Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday as well. I'm staying in Seattle overnight, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, but then a friend of mine who also lives in Yakima, uh, I'm going to come back, and then we're both going to go down together because he only got a Monday pass. So I was like, well, if, you only, if you're only there for Monday, then I'll drive down there with you and drive back. We're traveling, buddy. And Seattle's only like a two-hour drive from Yakima, so it's... It's what we all do all the time. I'm in Seattle probably once every six weeks or so. It is the traditional getaway it's where all the concerts are. It's where all the game stores are. Come on, you. Australia? Is that what that is? Is that in October? Ah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'll just do this. <laughs> that didn't work. Yeah. yeah, this is the first boss, and the way I'm playing, probably the last boss. Because <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get past this guy. I, mean, I played through the game on a Game Genie, just to make sure I got all the instances, you know, taking care of her graphics and all that, but... Um, and Joe Witter, the guy I made this game for, who also lives in Seattle, um, him and his friend uh, Reggie, and you know Reggie from the Metal Jesus channel, um, but you know they have, they have a copy of it, and uh, they said they actually went through and beat it once. I was like, oh, that's cool. I probably should actually go through and play the games I <laughs> made, but you usually just go through the game genie just to look at all the ground. Like, you know, it's like game testing. You're not really playing it for fun. You're just playing it to make sure everything's taken care of, for the most part. I let a lot of things slide, especially on that the Metal Jesus game I hacked, which is, you know, it's cool, but it's, there's a couple of graphic instances where it's like, ah, I could have changed that, or could have changed whatever, but it's like, eh, I'm the only one who notices, I guess. It doesn't really matter. As long as his face is on the label. Oh, oh, seriously? Oh. 
Let's see, I don't think my arrow does anything for him. Probably not. Wouldn't be so bad if he either stayed damaged more, or like, like on some Nintendo games where it's like, well, as soon as you figure out the strategy, you already know it. So it's like if he did that, I shot him with the barrage like three times or something. But on uh, this one, there's a lot. Get your money's worth out of it for sure. Oh. In fact, I go back to like the first, you know, little pea shooter compared to. Weapon upgrades later. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been a, uh, I've never been a controller thrower. Never broken any controllers or tossed them or out of rage. I've quit games before. I've done that. Where I'm just like, all right, I'm good, and I just get up and turn it off, and I'll get so mad that I actually turn it off without holding reset on a role playing game or something. This, uh, I made this game before I knew how to edit text, so I was like, I can't edit the text, I'm so sorry, he's still gonna call you Mitsume, but I could totally change that now. I should change, I, at least for Joe himself, I should at least change that and give him a new copy. Heads from a from a Castlevania, but like the boomerang axes from those knights <laughs> gets me every time, and it totally shouldn't. But uh, what time is it? I should laundry should be done here pretty soon. You know, it's funny. I still am not exactly sure what I'm doing for packs yet. I'm there on a media pass, um, but it's media for the radio stations I work for. It's not like for you know, I, I actually quite literally asked about, uh... Oh, hey, what the hell's going on here? Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, I'll take that. A little hidden uh, thing there. Um, no, so it's like, I'll probably take some pictures and some videos, I guess. And I don't know if I'll, like, I'll do a... Uh, I'll probably do, like, a YouTube video, like a small one or something, but... Um, uh, Jason, or Metal Jesus, I, that, I'm going to the facts with him. He's, I'm staying out, you know, hanging out with him and everything. Um, and even he's like, you know, he's done PAX videos in the past, but yeah, they've got a whole lot of views. It's fun, it's more like, but it's, you know, it, it, like me at a radio station, it's like, hey, look at me backstage, you know, with a uh, <laughs> Rob Zombie or something. Which, of course, I've totally done for pictures on Instagram and stuff. But and it's like, uh, you know, what what point is it bragging, or what point, you know, what what does it benefit you that I was at PAX and it works? That's no fair. I'd rather you be at PAX. And everyone's going to see Star Fox, or everyone's going to see... Uh, Bethesda. Like, I want to see the crazy indie games that nobody's heard of. So I'm hoping to find a, hoping to find a indie gold. Those games that nobody's talking about. It's like, oh, this is the game you want to check out for sure. Those guys are crazy looking. 
Oh, there's that, uh... Ah, yes. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, hard to find titles while I'm there? I don't know. Um, like, I'm not even sure. Like, the hard to find titles I'm looking for are like the ones I haven't heard of, probably. Although, um, one of my coworkers did say look out for a game called Dragon Fin Soup or something like that. So I'll see if I can find Dragon Fin Soup. Because he said he's not going to be there at PAX, but he wants me to play it so I can tell him how awesome it is. I guess. <laughs> I said fine. Um, I know, I'm like game hunting wise. Oh, I give the glasses whenever I do make games um, because I wear prescription glasses. Um, I usually try to find one enemy that I put glasses onto. So these skeletons you used to have skeleton eyes, but I gave them glasses eyes. Um, I'm not actively looking for any games right now. I'm in a good I'm in a good place with my collection. Of course, I want more, but you know, if I happen to find a I don't know, like a uh, something Super Nintendo wise, maybe if I happen to run across a cheap uh, Axley is actually one game I don't have. That I wouldn't mind finding so. I'll grab that. It's not really rare or uncommon. It's just... I, I never see it. For most of the other games that I would need, um, I already have. And I've had, you know, since before people started collecting Nintendo games, whereas this I would... Like with Bucky O'Hare for five bucks. It's like, I bought it because I wanted Bucky O'Hare. It didn't matter what it cost. It was before that I knew there was ever going to be a value on Nintendo games. So I just... When I was getting them in the... You know, late 90s, early 2000s... It was just like, oh, they're cheap, and they're liquidating them, and I still like playing them. So I picked up most of my collection for Nintendo and Super Nintendo. I picked up most of my collection back then. You know, just kind of added on to it recently-ish, through trades and whatnot, through Instagram. And it's a, I don't have a 3D TV or anything, but that blue background with that orangey-red foreground. It still looks way 3D to me. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't do me any good. Nope. Ah. If you throw it and miss it, you can sometimes, um... Ah, well. Never mind. Um, you can get it back from the sky, or back from the air. Yeah, I tell, I tell the same people that to uh, Bucky is the um, you know like oh well, what are you looking for you know like like you have like maybe I have a game that someone else wants that I'm okay with letting go you know what, what, you know, what are you looking for what are you looking for in trade and it's like I don't know I you know, I go to game stores and it's like I'll, if I if I see something that I don't have <laughs> if it's a good price I'll pick it up but I'm never really actively looking for anything everyone I mean if there's like an uncharted waters for super cheap because that's an expensive donor that to make a, a Legend of Link out of. And I've only made one Legend of Link ever. Um, I do have other games I can use as donors, if need be, but I haven't made any more. Legend of Link. It's a crazy, crazy... Huh? I still haven't beaten Legend of Link. <laughs> I played it a little bit. It's harder and harder when you have, like, you know, a full-time job and a part-time job and, you know, three kids that are, well, they're all in school now, but they're all asleep, and my wife's not feeling good, so she's asleep, and, and I'm up late doing laundry, drinking Surge, grabbing video footage. I had to grab some footage. But, uh, oh, I, I told you that. Never mind. For a video I'm shooting this weekend. A couple videos.
Oh, I know how this ends. <laughs> right into it. There we go. That's gonna happen. Oof. It's funny, I already like this guy more than the first boss. <laughs> Ooh, change the color. That's always a good thing. He changed the shade. Oh, I gotta start at the beginning, I bet. <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh, yeah, of course, because I kept on continuing with the other guy. You know, I wonder if I could just... Have you done this technique? It's like, well, I'm gonna die anyway. I'm gonna get hurt anyway. If I can kill him before he kills me, I don't think it's gonna happen. No. <laughs> That's worth a shot. Hello, Alaska. I have a friend of mine in Alaska. Um, he moved there from Yakima. Lives in Anchorage area, like most, I think. Um, and my mom... My mom was raised in Fairbanks, or just outside of Fairbanks. Of course, this was like in the 40s and 50s, where you know it's a, it was a coal mining community where her next door neighbor was half, you know, her next door neighbor was half a mile away. And men were men. Everyone had a beard. Everyone was burly. It's a coal mining community. And then she married my dad, who was this tiny little Elvis Presley <laughs> musician. Uh, yeah, much love for Alaska, for sure. I call myself the Pacific Northwest. You're the Pacific really Northwest. Well, to the point now where he's shooting twice. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I'm in Washington State. I got hit twice. Barely even started on this guy again. I don't mind getting I don't mind getting hit and stuff. Three times. Four times. Well. Go for broke. Can I do this? Maybe. The rain in Seattle. You know, the other day it was raining so bad in Seattle that people in Seattle were actually complaining about the rain in Seattle. It's a true story. Um, I'm not in Seattle, technically. I'm on the east side of the state, so where it rains all the time, stereotypically in Seattle, um, I'm in the desert. And we need the rain because we have so many uh, wildfires going on right now. Oh, there you go. Well, that's the technique. Just get behind him and blast him. Yeah, Casey grabs everything in Seattle, man. No, Seattle's great because that's where all the Nintendo employees, Microsoft employees, uh, they find so many, you know, old, you know, like ex like ex Nintendo employees who had, you know, just closets full of stuff. And they're just trying to get rid of it. Um. Ton of game stores. Um, I went there. I, I went there for other reasons. I wasn't even planning on going to any game stores or hitting up any yard sales, but I stumbled across a yard sale that happened to have a bunch of uh, GameCube, Wii, and Nintendo 64 games. All of them were five bucks each, and they had like Conker's Bad Fur Day for 64 plus manual, five bucks. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna pass that up, you know. <laughs> Conker's Bad Fur Day. And it's funny, because I don't even... <laughs> admittedly, don't even care for Conker's Bad Fur Day very much. Um, nothing against Conker. It's, I think it's just because it's a... I can never get into Nintendo 64 games. Like, the camera angles would always make me more irritated that why would I even, you know... Like, why would I irritate myself that much? Uh, 
Ugh, seriously. Um, I tried to think what else I got at that yard sale that one time. A lot. <laughs> Whatever I could, really. Um, and I... Anything, I mean, I grabbed whatever I wanted for myself, and then everything I didn't grab, um, I knew I could trade. Because we have in the Northwest, we also have uh, retro gaming shows and conventions and swap meets and uh, things. We have some something about every other month. Um, we have the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo coming up next month. We have PAX coming up. Not PAX. Portland Retro Gaming Expo coming up in October. Both of them super cool. I don't want that one. I don't want... Uh, I haven't got the wave yet. Ah, uh, that one. What about this one? There we go. And you can choose multiple and go back and forth and stuff, but I can just kind of cut it up to the line. A corporate BS. Oh, nothing wrong with that. I do have a corporate jacket. Um, my sister's friend from high school uh, speaks uh, three languages fluently. So he worked as a uh, um, what they used to call like Nintendo counselors or whatever. He would, he would do a tech support or whatever for people calling in from Germany or people calling in from France. And everybody who worked there got a Nintendo jacket. He didn't care. He actually hated that job. Um, but he knew I liked Nintendo. This was like in the early 90s. So um, he sent me his jacket. So I have a I have a Nintendo staff jacket that doesn't fit me anymore. Because <laughs> it was the 90s and I was uh, about a hundred pounds less in high school than I am now. <laughs> that's quite no exaggeration. I was all super too thick in high school. I was unhealthily skinny. And then I took a... It turns out I was a thyroid problem. That's your... Oh, seriously? Oh, I guess I could shoot him back in this place. If I had a job that would send me out. Well... That helps. I have to... <laughs> I've got to fund myself. Well, you can also work as a volunteer. Um, uh, I know some. it's a smart idea, too. That's um, If you work as a volunteer, you get to go in for free and early, and most of the best deals at the show will happen from vendors selling or trading to other vendors. So if you do happen to get... And, you know, if a show pops up where you are, or if you build one, or, you know, maybe you get together and, and that's... That's where all gaming expos should start, is just somebody <laughs> decides to have one in their area. Um, yeah, so look, look into becoming a... If, if you're not there as a vendor, look into becoming a volunteer, because you'll get, you'll get the early access. Well, yeah, I was skinnier nice, but I mean, I was like, I was like Jack Skellington skinny. I was, I had a thyroid problem, so I couldn't, I could, I could eat, you know, I would, I would eat like a large pizza by myself. And I got my thyroid problem fixed, and now, uh, <laughs> and now I'm, I'll call myself typical, how about that? I could stand to lose a few pounds, I guess, but I also don't want to give up the things that I love. Um, John Lester, uh, Gamester81, was talking about that recently on one of his Facebook posts, where he's like, well, I cut out sweets and I cut out fries, and I'm 15 pounds less. And I was like, oh, I don't like french fries in the first place. But uh, This is a hack. Um, the hack is a Famicom game. You can look it up. It's called Mitsume Gatoru. Mitsume Gatoru is the original game. And it's totally exactly the same, except for it's about a boy with three eyes, and I removed his third eye. And I changed a couple of other graphic things, but for the most part, it's all the same. And it, it translated, too. The Japanese version is in Japanese, but... Yeah, it's kind of a, a game I made as a gift for a friend of mine. And then um, other people caught on. And <laughs> of course, I made a copy for myself. Although there are a couple of games I've made where I don't have copies for myself. I made a um, Aaron Stappish of Retro Liberty. I made him a Aaron's video game kind of thing. And I made two of them. One for him, one for me. And then uh, somebody wanted one. And they're like, oh, you gotta sell me one. I was like, oh, mine, you know, sure, okay. Um, so I did. 
and I never made myself into a second copy. Ah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna go past this part. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to cut back on beer too. Um, I love craft, like I love I IPAs. I are awesome. Um, love IPAs, love pale ales, and I. Um, I don't like getting drunk though, and I don't like—I don't even like getting buzzed, which is comes with the territory when you're drinking IPAs. You can't—you can't avoid it. So I have to very, very limit myself. But I know I haven't—I haven't had any of that. And I mean, I'm still drinking. My advice is I go to the gas station and get like a 44-ounce Pepsi. It's like that's you know the best value, and it lasts me a while. And then once that's done, if I'm still around, I might hit up the gas station again and get another one for the rest of the workday. And that's totally not good for me, but so delicious. Ah. <laughs> yeah, um, I started working on a Oh, there's the laundry. I'll, I'll play just for a little bit longer, and I'll be all right. Um, the pop culture hack. I actually I started working on a Bill Cosby, um, Dr. Mario hack, where it was Bill Cosby throwing pills, <laughs> and um, and I got about that far, and I was like, well, but it's still Dr. Mario, and I don't know what I'm going to do with this. So I stopped, and I still have the work in progress, and I don't think I'm going to pick it up ever again, but. I started that, um, but a, a buddy of mine who does like the other hacks, like um, he did like the Freddy and Jason Donkey Kong hack recently and stuff like that. Um, he's working on a few cool things right now. Like there's, um, he's almost finished with a Doctor Who hack from a Famicom game, so it'll be basically like playing a new Nintendo game. Uh, that'll be Doctor Who, and that game looks completely awesome. I'm looking forward to checking that out. I mean, the game itself is awesome. I haven't played through the original. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's see the thing there. <laughs> yeah, I've had a lot of people. I'm, I've showed the work in progress that I've done on the Dr. Mario hack, I promise. And uh, I got us about as far as what kind of looks like Bill Cosby throwing pills instead of Mario. And I changed the title screen so it says Dr. Cosby, I think, and changed the colors a little bit. And I was like, that's all I'm going to do. And then I've, had, I've, I've still had a few people saying, like, you know, please at least sell me one. I was like, eh. I'll send you the ROM for free. I still have the ROM if you want to just look at it. <laughs> I can do that. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner. That might be kind of fun. Especially if there was like a... If there was a Rodmo one-half Nintendo game. <laughs> a Caitlyn Jenner one would be awesome. Um, no, I thought of other ones. I thought of doing... Um, like, I'd love... Um, I, I'm pretty sure it can be done. I wish there was a Famicom game you could work, you could use for it. Um, but the best I can think of is using DuckTales 2, because everyone knows DuckTales, the first one. Um, but use DuckTales 2 and hack it and make a uh, The Adventures of the Gummy Bears hack. So you have the full Disney lineup as far as, you know, the Disney, the Disney shows that were on in the afternoon. And Capcom made DuckTales and Tailspin and... No Adventures of the Gummy Bears, and I think we could do that one. Now I think there's somebody working on a Game of Thrones hack. I'll check that out. You know, I have a friend of mine who's a comedian. Um, and he's, he's a professional stand-up comedian. And, I mean, I've seen him on... He doesn't do the Comedy Central roasts, but he does some roasts and stuff like that. And um, he and his comedian friends, I mean, they've known about the Bill Cosby thing for years. Like, ten years. And it's, it's no secret. It's nothing new. It's just now the media is actually, you know, people are coming out about it. But it's like, you know, they've, they've been joking about that for years. You know, just now we're, just now we're finding out about it, kind of. Ah, jeez. I'm probably going to keep doing the same thing until I figure something else out. Uh, it's, it's 
midnight. It's not midnight, it's past midnight. I gotta wake up early for work, get the kids ready for school. Oh, you know what I just realized? The wind blows me over. I bet the wind will take me, so I don't have to use my little arrow thing. Pop culture. Well, the, th the thing with pop culture would be like if you made a... Um, like if, if you made a Rebecca Black Friday game. It's like, or if you made a... Uh, that's a bad example. Um, pop culture is flash in the pan. More so than ever. So if you made... It would be like making a... Uh, like a Harlem... Uh, like a Harlem Shake game. It's like, well, that's cool for a day. <laughs> but the Bill Cosby one, that one has some lasting power. 5.15 on our Friday. Well, yeah, I guess I can't complain. <laughs> you and your delicious candy and... There aren't any um, Australian exclusive breakfast cereals, are there? I'm a huge breakfast cereal fanatic. And I don't think there's anything that would be exclusive to Australia. Maybe something from Britain. Britain like, uh, like America doesn't have Nesquik cereals. Um... Like, we don't have the next quick breakfast cereal. Not that we need it. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Make wood as Bio Billy? Uh, probably. I was thinking about uh, making wood again. Um, I promised 8-Bit Eric I'd make him again, eventually, and I'll probably start working on that when I get back from ha uh, PAX. And I'll probably just be something simple anyway. But he was just like, oh, can you do one? Because I... Like, in a lunch break, I made a uh, Game Chasers game. And it's funny, I... I admittedly don't watch the Game Chasers so much. I mean, I think they're... I don't have any problem with them or anything. Um, I'm just not as familiar. But I made one just because I'm familiar with, you know, their, who they are and the, and the YouTube show. Um... And then 8-Bit Eric wanted one of those, and he was like, oh, I hope I get my own game sometime soon. And I was like, oh, I can make it for you. I don't mind. Come up with something anyway, but I don't know. I was thinking of, like, just probably, like, like one of the legend, one of the Legend of Zelda hacks. But have it be, like, 8-Bit Eric, um, you know, trying to hunt for Nintendo games or something. I don't know. Nutrigrain. Uh, we may or may not have Nutrigrain. I'm not sure. All right, I'm going to call it an end. All right, I got to get laundry. I got to get to bed. Uh, thanks for hanging out for a while. I appreciate it. And now the step B of how do I turn off the stream? <laughs>